Hi friends, it's time for story time with Mrs. J. Today I got a great story called Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. Now, cows really don't type, but in this story, they type a letter to the farmer and they go on strike. That's a word we wanna learn a little bit more about today. So when I hear the word strike, I know it's a one syllable word. I'm gonna write down a syllable line. So then I can kind of figure out what that word looks like. So let's break up the sounds we hear in the word strike. S, t, er, I, k. I'm gonna write five sound dots. Okay, let's get started and see if we can match those sounds to letters. Okay, first sound is s. I know that's letter, S. The next sound is T. Oh, that's letter T. Well, let's go to that N sound. Strike. Well, K can be written by a bunch of different letters. Sometimes it's written with the C, and other times, usually at the end of a word, it's CK. Well, we're not gonna write C or CK for this sound. It's actually gonna be a K. Another way to write the k sound. We'll talk about why later. The next sound, st, er, that's letter R. Now our vowel sound, we hear st, I, I, that's long I. Now this is one of the reasons why K is the k sound. K is a strong sound that doesn't allow the E to power over it. When I hear long I, I have I consonant E, but if I put an E there with a C, it will make it lazy. So we have S-T-R-I-K-E for strike. Now, some of you that play baseball might understand what strike is for that. But in this story, strike means when you do a protest or you say, we're not going to stand for this anymore. The cows are going to go on strike or not give any more milk to the farmer. And this causes a problem, which leads to our next word, ultimatum. Ultimatum is when you say, this is the ultimate price. We're not gonna go any further than this. And so the, we get to have an ultimatum that happens in this story. So let's hear how many syllables are in this word because it's a pretty big word. Ultimatum. I'm gonna write four syllable lines. O, T, M, A, T, U, M. Now we can break, Now that we have syllables, we'll break those syllables into individual sounds and see if we can write this long word. Okay, our last syllable we hear T, U, uh, M. Let's match those sounds to letters. M mm is letter M. Then the T is letter T. Vowel sound, t uh, uh, is usually letter U. So that was an easy syllable to sound out. Let's go to our first syllable, O, uh, O. Those are also some pretty easy um, sounds to match to letters. So the O sound is L, and that uh, O, is you. Okay, let's go to this syllable. Ultimate. Well, that A is a long A sound, and that's because it's an open syllable. M. M. So there's our M. Now we have ultimate. T. Again. Letter T, I for it, ultimatum. Again, that's when we make a demand, and it's our last demand. We're not going to do anything but that. It's over. So let's read the story and see if we can hear those words and, and learn a little bit more about what they mean. Click, clack, moo, cows that type. This is by Doreen Cronin, and pictures are by Betsy Lewin. 
Here's our title page and look at those cows. They look a little surprised to see a typewriter. Click, clack, cow, click, clack, moo, cows that type by Doreen Cronin, pictures by Betsy Lewin. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, Moo! He doesn't look happy about that. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type, impossible. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Then, he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. Like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found the type old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry. We're closed, no milk today. So their way of going on strike was to not give milk to Farmer Brown. They closed shop. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. So now we have hens and cows that want blankets. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them click. Clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. He wasn't just a little mad, he was really mad. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. So Farmer Brown said, you have to give me milk and eggs. Cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around and the barn to snoop. But none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Sounds like they came up with a bargain. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. Next to the barn door, a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. They look so cozy now with their blankets. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. Looks like they had no trouble getting their diving board. Thanks for joining me with Mrs. J's 
story time. Hopefully you enjoyed our story, click, clack, moo, cow's lip tie. And you learned a couple of new words. Strike is when you demand something and you decide to not work until it's met. And the ultimatum is an ultimate demand that says, this is the final deal for us. I really enjoyed reading this story to you and hopefully you had fun with me too. Bye for now.